Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement with having. When I'm sitting in a quiet space trying to make a simple audio recording, I haven't put on a suit, I haven't put on a tie, I haven't put green screen up behind me. I've just decided to do things on the fly. Because what you can do is be working in the kitchen or working at your desk and be listening to me and not having to bother to look at my mug face. And that's okay. But today's topic is about police abuse. Abuse of power, abuse of technology, abuse of people, abuse of bodies, and frankly, inappropriateness with sexuality. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, to record our experiences, to talk about our events in our life, and report what is real. There are other people who will say that what someone talks about that doesn't sound real to them is conspiracy theory or ridiculous ideology. But the truth is, today, we have people who are abusing federal laws. We have people who are violating international treaties that America was pretty essential in developing for the world. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of other people's truth, not at all. We have the right to speak our own truth, but we can't speak for other people. In life, I can tell you how I've been through hell. I can tell you that someone decided to call police because they were immature about how to handle a relationship. A relationship they developed, a relationship they flirted with, a relationship they toyed with, a relationship they did with, and a relationship that really had a lot of facets. From business, to professional, to personal, to spiritual. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about our side of the experience, while someone else might speak their truth of their side of the experience. Then we have that marvelous middle ground, that middle ground that the Lord might see what his children below are doing in, well, any city. In journalism school, we learn it to be three sides to every story. There's the side of one side, and there's the side of the other side, and then there's that happy, medium, factual-oriented take on the matter. In life, we have moments of time to tell people what is real. What is real are American laws, international treaties of which we are beholden to as American citizens or whatever citizenship we hold in the world. You see, we can't go to a place and presume we're totally free. We're not. We are free, but we're not free. We are free to do as we please as long as it's within the guides of the law and city ordinances where we live. So when I hear these machines, these motorcycles, these cars breaking the sound barrier in the community, I'm like, where are the sound ordinances? When I see people in struggle, really struggling, I wonder what happened to them and then I'm reminded those people aggressed against other people and now they're ill with COVID. You see, in life we have moments of time to establish what is and isn't real for us alone, but we don't have the right to interfere with someone else's rights to the privacy of their life, the realities of their health, the dignities of their sexual life or the amazingness of their business or professional life. You see, people can be anything they want to online, but very few people lie is not true. Many people manipulate the truth to produce a living. It's a pretty much standard thing in most every par product that's marketed out there. They produce the best language to establish the best feeling about the product, the service, or the people. It doesn't mean they're lying, it just means they're trying to accentuate the positive and de-emphasize the negative. In life, we have all kinds of content for our life. We have all kinds of information that impact our life. We have all kinds of opinions, we have all kinds of, well, I don't know. I don't know the word I was gonna say because I'm tired today. But I guess what I'm saying to you is that my opinion about something may not be your opinion about something. But my experience with professional educators or medical doctors on an, on an issue for my life is my experience, not yours. And never in the world will you be allowed to manage my health. First of all, I don't know you. Second of all, I wouldn't even do that with anybody who claimed to be biologically related to me. And third, the only person I might allow to guide me is my late wife, who was a fully trained nurse. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is we have people in the community where we live who lie, steal, and cheat people out of their life. They do it for the thrill of it. They do it through the, for the power of it. They do it for the reality of they want to meet someone or do something to someone just for the hell of it. But in life, they forget that karma is a bitch 
and it comes back around quickly a lot of times if you're a witch but if you're not involved in any kind of faith any type of gosh theology philosophy or anything that tells you a principle of life then probably you're just a wayward child who never grew up